So right away it spun out with those uh with those rubber wheels. All right guys, I'm back with the Tamaya TTO1 carbon fiber chassis here. Uh, I had already did a slight run, test run with this car uh, with some foam wheels. So I'll put the stock wheels back on and these are the rubber race wheels that come with the chassis. Um, the only thing you have to do is uh, glue them. You have to glue them yourself. So I used electronics from the DR10 and put it in this Tamiya TTO1 uh, chassis here and uh, got the 3300 KV reading motor, got the 60 amp brushless ESC, and also I did use the radio system as well. So, uh, but again, I'm actually impressed with this chassis set up uh i mean you look at everything it's pretty much carbon fiber and uh the only thing that's not carbon fiber is uh well you do still have some plastic parts on here like the suspension um the upper and lower arms are plastic but you do have metal drive cups and uh drive shaft there so and that's as you can see there uh metal shocks as you can see here like I said pretty much everything is everything is made pretty good on here I'm actually impressed with this uh, chassis here so uh, I can't really complain about it it was a uh, Everything came put together except for the front and rear bumper. That's the only thing that you had to. Uh, that's the only thing you actually had to install uh, was the front and rear bumper and glue the tires. Other than that, everything was, uh, like I said, everything was put together. And like I said, I am pretty much satisfied with it, man. The servo is, uh, I, I just use a plastic gear servo in here, just a little cheap servo, just to get it going. Uh, nothing major on that. Uh, I did use uh, the aluminum uh, servo horn, but other than that, it, it works. It works. Uh, I mean, that's it right here, man. So I had told you all that I was going to give you all a, a up-close look of it after I had just did a test run on it. And like I said, this is what you get, man. Uh, I'm impressed with it. I am impressed with it. I am impressed with it. So the gearing on this is, uh, it doesn't come with the pinion gear. So you have to supply your own pinion gear. Uh, but it does come with the stock spur gear, which is a 61 tooth uh, spur gear. And it is a 32 pitch gear. So, uh, yep, 32 pitch gear. I don't know if you can see that. Better focus for you. Anyway, I, like I said, I just I took the uh, DR10 electronics and threw it on here, and uh, and I didn't really want to give it a whole lot of power. Uh, with these plastic gears, which you can upgrade, they I think they do have some uh, metal uh, gear upgrades for this car. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna run it as is until the gears give out, and then we'll uh, we'll upgrade it. But for right now, it's fine just the way it is. Um, I'm trying to make sure something. Didn't have an issue. I didn't have an issue when I ran it, but uh, I'm just making sure the the mesh is pretty good. Don't want it too tight. Don't want it too loose. Uh, 
But yeah, man, it's a smooth, it's a smooth riding car. Uh, like I said, I haven't used these wheels yet. I just put them on, so I haven't used them yet. Like I said, when I ran it earlier, when I ran it in the previous video, I had the foam wheels on here, just testing it out, and uh, and like I said, I threw these back on. And so next time I go out, I'll have these rubbers on and see exactly how they hold up to the to this power, on, you know, with 3S power on this. Uh, but it doesn't ride bad, man. It runs pretty good. Uh, I can't really complain. Uh, like I said, for the price of it, man, it was actually a good deal. So uh, I haven't decided exactly what body I want to have on it permanently. Uh, I did use the Mercedes, uh, I did use the Mercedes AMG body when I ran it in the previous video, and, uh, I do, I seen someone had one of these, and they had the Pagani body on here, so I think I, I, I think I want to go that route, that Pagani actually looked pretty nice, I just gonna, I'm just gonna put my own little twist to it, this is it. <clears throat> This is it. So, all right, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to get this car out and run it with the rubber wheels. So I do want to get it out there with the rubber wheels and test it out and see how these wheels hold up. All right, guys, y'all be safe. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Y'all be safe. All right, guys, I got the Tamiya TTO1 carbon fiber chassis Pagani out here tonight. Uh, I'm going to test this out with the rubber wheels. So I'm still waiting on my rear spoiler to go on here, and that'll kind of complete it a little bit. I may go, I may or may not, I'm not sure for sure right now, but I may tint the windows. I may not, I don't know yet, but right now we're going to run the Pagani like it is. Uh, I'm about to put it on 3S and just to test it out and uh, see how these rubber wheels hold up and uh, we're going to put it on 3S and uh, I guess even check out and see uh, see what the speed see what the speed is on this uh, with this gearing which is like I said it's 61 tooth stock spur gear and I put a 23 tooth pinion gear on here and uh, it's a pinion gear that I had that would actually fit I didn't have a uh, anything smaller that would go in there so and actually it's maxed out that's that's about the uh, yeah, that was about the uh, big as I can go uh, with with the pinion gear on this with this uh, stock down there. Yeah, that's about as big as I can go with the stock spur gear because there was no more room on the uh, motor bracket to. Uh, move it anymore so that's where I was at with that so uh try not to stay out here too long man because it's really cold it's like 31 degrees and it's dropping so I think it's supposed to get down to 20 something tonight so let's see here put on record average speed I don't want average speed we want peak speed there we go. And record. Alright. So we'll get that on the there. I'm gonna have to do some adjustment on this uh this battery setup.
didn't go nowhere. All right. Put this on here. Might want to go and turn this on. Let's test this bad boy out. So right away it spun out with those uh with those rubber wheels. I need to straighten out the trim on here. Let's see here. Trim, trim, trim. I need to turn the gyro down a little bit, I believe. I start seeing it do a little wobble. Yeah, I need to turn the gyro down just a little bit. Let's see, dual rate. Turn the dual rate down a little bit. Yeah, this cop. Yeah, it does better with phones. But that gear, man, it sounds good. Uh, with that 3300 kV motor and uh, and that 61 tooth. 23 2 uh, gearing. That sounds pretty good. Alright, we're going to bring it in and uh, see exactly how fast it's going. If the job, I took my hand off of it. It stays straight. That gyro is is the devil when it's up too high. And like I say, these wheels ain't these wheels ain't the best for high speed. And I just want to confirm that.
That's maxed out right there. That's maxed out right there. Alright. Hooking to the left. Alright, we're going to check the top speed on this. Like I said, it ran pretty good. Uh, that gearing is pretty good on it. Uh, just like I said, these rubber wheels that come with it, they're not the best for whatever speed this car is going right now. I hate that I flipped it over on this new body. Flipped it over and I got one little rag. I got a little rash right there. Scratched up right there. Scratched up back there in here. Oh well. It's the name of the game, I guess, huh? I think I bent. I think I straighten out this body post. Thing about it, oh, it's, it's bent, man. I thought maybe just uh, I can unscrew it. I can unscrew it and straighten it, straighten it out that way. But it's bent, though. It is bent. But anyway, let's see how fast this thing was going. Thirty-nine. I don't know if you all can see that. Thirty-nine. 39 is the speed. 39. Alright. So, alright, guys. That is the end of that video. It was a short run. Very short run. Had to make it short and sweet because it's cold out here. I, my fingers got to the point where I can't feel them now. So, it's time to go. Alright, guys. Y'all be safe. And I'll see you all on the next video.